Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Nozovix, and welcome, welcome, welcome to another Sunday, which means it is time for another Noz Watches Overlord. So, we're just going to jump right into this here. Um, last episode, they were trying to be heroes, and we found and we learned a bit of world building. Not a whole ton of shit happened, and there's a MacGuffin boy who is going to have to be putting on a MacGuffin tiara for the bad people, and Momonga-sama has to protect him. Kind of wondering where the fuck that's going, but Momonga needs to stop being so paranoid and just make people's heads explode. Fucking hell. Anyway, three, two, one, and... Oh, fuck me. And go. Alright, so we just got, you know, your generic uh, overworld music. That's fine. Going on a quest and adventure. This is the song we play. He probably can't fucking see where he's going. Like seriously, like if if there was an abridged series, it'd be like, Mr. Peter, where the fuck are we going? I can't see. I need a haircut, but I can't afford one. Like, he just took off the ga. He just took the ga off his fucking name. Why didn't you just disguise yourself as some kind of mage, for fuck's sake? Like, this is literally the One Punch Man problem. He has god power, so they've got to figure out a bullshit reason to make sure he doesn't fucking blow everything up. And he needs to stop trying to fuck the monster. He needs to stop trying to fuck the monster girl. Wait, so is this gonna be how it ends? Either she's gonna learn to love him, or he's gonna fucking get smashed. ですか。数百年の時を生きている強大な魔獣で蛇の尻尾を持つ白骨を数十と伝えられていますが、英知にあふれ魔法も使えるそうですよ。It's a manticore. Oh my god, it's just a fucking manticore. All right, so this big monster is just a fucking manticore. That's going to be what we fight at the end, yeah? Like, seriously, that should not be a big thing to Momonga. Like, Manticores are such a non-threat in MMOs. Like, they're the fucking main flying mount of the Horde in World of Warcraft, for fuck's sake. Even though they're called Wyverns, but they're still fucking Manticores. They're scorpion tail Manticores. Um... She's humping a body pillow. She... <laughs> does not require sleep. You're a stupid bitch. Oh my god. Don't take it too far. Well, I don't know. I was just going to rape him. I was joking. I was joking. But she just has the Dark Makara. Alright. Alright. There we go. That's fine. Oh my god. Oh my god, I was joking. I was joking, but no, she just has a Momonga Dakimakara. Fuck my life. Hmm? 
文明レベルは中世ほどだと思っていたが魔法によって全く異なる発展を遂げているな。It's almost as if they came from an MMO p a g a t h a t s a good thing. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. And for those of you that were complaining that I keep looking, to, I kept looking from here to here to, to look at the camera, that's why it's now right under the camera. Even though I do actually,、uh, I can actually understand spoken Japanese a little bit. Oh! Oh boy! Oh boy, she just fucking spilled the beans! Oh boy! Get fucked! Yeah. Yeah, if, I, if I miss anything, it's not because I'm not looking, it's because I'm a fucking idiot. Jesus. By that, that archer guy, he's gonna either fucking die or he's gonna become a main character. I'm calling it right fucking now. Well, so the monsters are all CG. I, 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 that's fucking rad. Now, I just want to be like, nah, nah, go take a break, boys. Just go, go take a break, boys. It's fine. Oh, the fucking. The fucking druid is the best. Like, if these are all players, he would just be the hippie. Oh, he's a tank. So. So we have the protection warrior, the lone wolf specked marksman hunter, the fury warrior, the arms warrior, the druid, and the priest. I mean, you're, you're, one, you're one extra of a five man, but you're, you're good. Oh no, they're speaking. They're, they're speaking some sort of made up language. It's not Japanese, it's some sort of made up phonetic language. We will never be able to understand what these magical spells are called. Oh, now I'm among us, CG2. Fuck me. I'll say this much it looks better than the Berserk anime. I'll say that much for free. It's not Ori Harkum, it's Ori Kalkite, you fucking idiot. Like, that's not even a pronunciation thing, that's actually what it's called. Goes back to Tolkien, you fucking idiot. Oh my god, this CG, oh my god. Stop swapping between hand drawn and CG! Stop it! Hey, you're not supposed to be allowed to do that anymore. What do you think this is, vanilla? Oh, oh no, he's using. He just used Rampage. He's got the, he's got the Enrage buff. Increased his haste. Oh no, she's a shaman! She must be hacking! She's using a sword. I'm doing this on purpose, I'm being a cunt. Just because it's like. It's even the right color as healing touch, oh my god. It's just that, like, this is so. Um, 
even though they're not in an MMO anymore, it's, it's very good that, like, it's very, um, 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 fuck me. Of course they're not gonna have loot. What do you think they're gonna sparkle, Momonga, you fucking idiots? Oh boy, um... I like how they're like they're keeping it in um it, it it's very similar to a real MMO. Like the way the mechanics work, even in their um altered form to be a real world. It's it's very good. It's much better than like Sword Art Online, Lock Horizon. Like probably the best trapped in MMO thing I've seen so far. I've come up with a new recipe! Oh god, I need to play that new Final Fantasy, but I need a PS4. I need a new fucking PS4. Also, there's so many fucking games on it I want to play for my channel! Ah! Uh, j j oh, she's gonna kill you. Dude, don't. Fucking don't. Oh. Oh, nice. That's a nice ass cover. Oh, to eat, we have to go all the way over there. It's fine. Oh. え、と、漆黒の剣というのは昔いらっしゃった13英雄の一人が持つ剣にちなんでるんです。え、説明終わり。もしかして知らないと恥ずかしいようなことなのか何ですかそれ見事だ。なあべちゃんは知らないか。
仲間を戦闘で全員失った人はあんな雰囲気を見せるよそいつは難しいよな発した言葉は元には戻らないのである Am I wrong for just wanting them to go back to Nazareth and just fucking do well, overlord shit? Like, this adventure stuff is really cool and, like, this world building is really nice. But it's just generic enough that it's not quite holding my attention as much as, um. as much as the, the previous episodes did. But I mean, but I mean, it, it's an anime. It's gonna have a lull arc. I mean, I've watched enough Dragon Ball to know that's the fucking case. Goddamn! Like, like every single fucking Gohan arc. This is actually just One Punch Man. This is Saitama being relegated to C class despite being above S class. This is the exact same fucking thing. He's strong as the S class adventurers, but he's stuck down in the lowest. Oh, fucking Jesus Christ. この辺りの人とか言ってましたかそこまでは聞いてませんが。ナーベちゃんと同居っぽかったけど、お世辞にもかっこいいと。おお、おお、オッケー、ユーゲッティンエアユーゲッティンエアアーイヤ、ユーファ
That's just adorable. Shit. After Lee died, things really went down f downhill for her. そうだ。わしらが名刺が Oh my! Oh my, that's some Gara shit! Yo, okay. Okay, I'm in. I'm in. Mamonga would probably just show up and be like, Oh, that's adorable! And just snap his fingers, all the undead would immediately turn around and stab the Kaj to death. But, I... Oh, god damn it! Oh, god damn it, that's the end. Fuck my life. Oh, fuck me up, fam. I was, I was actually... I was actually pretty, 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 pretty hyped for that. I was actually pretty hyped for that. So, so like I was, so like I was saying before that end part happens. Um, I feel like Momonga traveling with these other, with these other adventurers. It, it's nice. Don't get me wrong. Do not fucking get me wrong here. I think it's really, really nice. I, I like it. I think it is, um, really nice seeing these characters. But. But, I feel like they belong in a different anime. I feel like they, they're protag- like, It's the same kind of idea as Stroganoff, except Stroganoff only appeared for about two episodes. Was it two episodes or one episode? I want to say one. I want to say one. Stroganoff only appeared for roughly about one episode, and then he was put away to do his own thing, in, like, in his own amine, basically, you know? Like, but, like, the camera stayed on Momonga the whole time. The camera stayed on Momonga the whole time, and then Stroganoff showed up, like, like, pretend there was Overlord, where you have Momonga, and then there was Overlord, colon, the, Stro the, the Beef Stroganoff series, right? And they run in parallel to each other, and, like, every week you could turn into both. You can tune in, you can see... Um, what Momonga's doing, and you can see what Stroganov's doing, and then one week, yeah, they do a crossover episode, and Momonga and Stroganov team up, and they're both protagonists, and they both have their arc pushed forward, and then that's and then that's 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 done. That's that's its thing, right? And that and that works, right? And then the episode's done. Stroganov goes off to do his own anime again, and then maybe they re like he does another cameo down the line, right? With his things, like. But I feel like they're doing a similar thing here with these characters, this party, this guild, whatever the fuck. And their their arcs are all being pushed forward, and their arcs are much steeper than Momonga's are. So in um in relation to that, Momonga's arc just looks all that more shallow. So whereas Momonga's arc, as someone who was a max level or like MMORPG player, now, given all of his MMO powers and placed in a brand new world, where his arc should be about, you know, like this, right? Like, it, it's not a massive arc, but it's there, and it's actually, you know, um, something to be overcome. Because the other guys have an arc that goes kind of like this, yeah, Mamonga's arc now looks like this. You know what I mean? It's very shallow. It's kind of like a small hill. And that's kind of not bad but it takes the focus off the protagonist and yes these this group the the black swords they're neat i like them they're fun characters i like the i like the archer i like the priest i like i i mean i'm i'm just gonna call them by their fucking classes at this point because that's more what they are in my brain 
yeah, I like the archer, I like the priest, I like the druid, I like the protection warrior, I like every single one of them. They're nice. I even like, I even like the, the chemist, even though I know he just kind of wants to know where Momonga just gets his dank-ass potions, yo. Um, you know, he's got to, he's, he's dealing with that blue shit, but he's got to get that high-quality red shit. Um, they're all really good, but their, their scale, their world, even though they're in the same world as Momonga, it's like Moomin Rider trying to fight the Sea King. Moomin Rider is... Moomin Rider, he is a character that is just strong enough to beat the average street hood. The Sea King is a literal god of the sea that multiple S-class heroes could not fucking fight, and it took Saitama to beat. Put Moomin Rider against the Sea King didn't go well. And this same kind of thing is happening here. We're going from... We're, like, it'd be like in One Punch Man if we cut from a fight of Saitama fighting Tatsumaki, which hasn't happened in the anime yet, but I'm hoping we get to it soon, because, oh my fucking god, it's radical. Yeah, and if, like, if in the middle of that fight, one instead decided, you know what, let's cut, cut to Moomin Rider fighting, fighting a street hood. That, that, that's what that feels like. It feels like the scope has grown a lot more narrower, a lot smaller, and we're not fa facing the stuff that was kind of set up in the first couple episodes. And then cutting back to, and then even cutting back to Nazarick, even watching, even fucking watching, um, Albedo fucking a goddamn Dakimakura of Mamonga, like, even, even that, yeah, like, expanded the scope for a second, because you know that Demiurge was coming in to talk to her about something important, and then got distracted. And then we cut back to them just fighting, like, little level one goblins. You know? It's, it's part of the reason why a lot of people who are, like, level 110 in WoW don't really like starting, don't really start, don't really like starting, like, level one alts. Because going from fighting... Going from fighting against the, the, the Valor Shar, who are literal Viking gods, to fighting level one, um, level one boars in the Valley of Trials doesn't feel good. And that's really what it's going. So if they're going for the MMO route, where it's like, hey, yeah, Momonga just started an alt, and we're just following him leveling up, then, okay, fine. You got the MMO thing in. But that's also one of the least favorite parts of the MMO. That's why Blizzard put in a fucking level boost system. I, I, I don't know. Like, it's... I'm still interested in seeing where it goes. I'm still interested where things are going with Kaj. But fuck me, I feel like they're they're they they showed like it's like if, if this anime was a if this anime was a girl, it was like if or if this anime was a game, it'd be like the games where you start at max level and you have all your powers and you're blowing shit up and it's fancy and, and yeah. Essentially the game's showing you digital tits. And then at the end of the level, it beats the shit out of you, takes away all your powers, is like, eh, you might get him again. That fucking sucks. That feeling sucks. That feeling is the reason why I didn't beat Dragon Age 2 until, like, Inquisition was basically out. You know what I mean? Because you go for feeling so fucking powerful as an end le end game mage blowing up a fucking dragon and an, and an ogre with no issue. Oh, pardon me, with max level spells. So just this little schlub is like, oh yeah, hi, I'm a champion. And honestly, unless you grind like a motherfucker, you never feel that powerful again. Ever. Because the fucking level ups in that game are so fucking minute. Oh my god. Um, but yeah, that's really all I had to say. I'm sorry I, I ran it about that for a while, but like, I'm a really big fan of game design. Because hey, I go to college to make video games. Oh, I mean software engineering which is that leads into video games but same fucking business um so like I go like this anime feels like it's following the game design of uh an mmo in a narrative form and doing it very 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 fucking well mind you like way better than sword art online way better than log horizon way better than any fucking trapped in mmo anime i've seen ever but I feel like the scope has just been narrowed a lot. Momonga's arc isn't moving at a clip that is noticeable, like, at all. 
it doesn't feel like Momonga is progressing as a person at all, and in an anime, that's really what you need. Like, even in filler arcs of Dragon Ball, Goku still felt like he was learning stuff, even though really at the end, since it didn't happen in the manga, he really didn't learn anything, and it never shows up again. But still, it felt like it as it was happening. I don't know. I, I don't know. Like, fucking... I feel like if they're gonna do this, they need to, they need to jump back to Nazarick more. They need to jump back to Nazareth, and so while Momonga is palling around with these adventurers, and he's getting the lay of the land, and he's getting their trust, and he's getting all this shit, we we need to have like half the episode jump to to the Yandere or or, or Kaj or, or whatever the fuck they're doing, or back to Nazareth with Alb- Albedo, um, uh, uh, Demiurge, Ara, and Mare, because um, because they're they're all back at Nazareth, um. They're all back at Nazarick doing... Uh, oh, wait, did Ara Mare go with Sabus? Ah, p- fuck it, whatever. But you got the guys at Nazarick still, and they're supposed to be planning to 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 conquer this world and, and make Nazarick a world power, which is fucking amazing, and I can't wait until that actually shows fruit. I, I need that in my life. I need skeleton armies. I need... I basically... I need the Scourge to happen. All right? Because the Lich King... Like, if... It, if, if if World of Warcraft's next expansion came out and, and like, the Lich King came back and he was like, I, I'm starting a third faction, not Horde or Alliance, it's the Scourge. Yeah, you fucking damn right I'd drop, like, 30 bucks in faction transfer to that shit immediately. I don't give a fuck. Um... And, and, but, uh, and then other, but other than that, you also have, uh, Sabus and, and Shaltir and, um, the, the, the Battle Maids who who peaced out and they and they went somewhere else. I, I honestly for the for the life of me, I cannot remember at the moment where they said they were going. I think they were said they were going out to gather information and, and do shit like that, but whatever the fuck they're doing, like Sabus, um Sabus, like he's he's missing an eye, but he doesn't wear an eye patch. Like you can tell that there's something going on. From the opening credits he does like a kung fu monk pose, which makes me think he's a monk, which is my favorite fucking archetype ever. I mean, there is a reason my main is a monk in World of Warcraft. Because the second that shit came out, I was like, I fuck this shaman. <laughs> I'm a level one to fucking, uh, one to fucking 90 just to get this monk. Um, I didn't start fuck. I basically missed Moshe Gan Volts because of that shit. Um, uh, just, so we have Sabus, the, the, the monk butler dude who is super mysterious and cool. We have Shaltir, the vampire, who is very uncomfortable about the size of her tatas. And possibly Ara and Mare? I, I don't remember where they are. I, 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 I think they went with Sabus now that I think about it, but I, I don't know. So we have two little, two little transgenders, one of whom being best waifu, despite having a cock, um, out there having adventures, and we don't even know what their adventures are. Like, even if we spent, like, four episodes completely away from Momonga following their adventures, like, with the Momonga out the picture, we're no longer thinking about his arc, we're thinking about their arc, and their arc, while not quite as steep as the adventurers, it's still steep enough that it would be like, oh, yeah, let's see what happens with these guys, I want to know, like, I want to know what their powers are, because we do not know what their powers are, we, we do not. All we know is that some shouts here can teleport, um, from the opening crawl, we can see that she can put on armor, and there's a hint that um, she can shapeshift into some sort of horrible monster, but honestly, in Japan, that's kind of what vampires do, if you've seen Helsing at all. That's kind of what Alucard does, so like, I really want to see that happen, especially after seeing Helsing Ultimate Abridged um, last week. Like, oh my god, there's so much potential in this anime, and Jesus, oh, I want to see it all. But, uh, we, I have spoken way too fucking much. I, oh, I apologize. I apologize. But I didn't mean for this to basically just turn into a complete review. I really didn't. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave this here. So, as always, everybody, I am Blodjevix. Uh, remember to like, comment, favorite, subscribe. If you already subscribed, hit that notification button. You'll get this stuff when it comes out. Um, I kind of should expect this because these... Reaction videos are basically little mini reviews at the end, so yay. Um, yeah, do all that shit, and let me know down in the comments uh, what you would like. Honestly, do you like when they when they go off and they split off and they have Momonga basically babysitting this bunch of noobs? 
Like, would you rather see more of Nazarek? Would you rather see what Sabus is doing? Would you rather um, Mamonga just fucking cut these bitches up and leave? Because that'd probably be something cool. Uh, you know, let me know down in the comments because I'm actually curious. Anyways, everybody, as always, I am Nozvix, and I will see you in the next video. But most importantly, I shall see you a round,